Okay, so uh, we're going to look at reducing rational expressions in WX Maxima. And I'm going to show you, uh, I mean, basically you just type them in and tell WX Maxima to simplify, but I'm going to show you a, a few more things that you can do. Uh, so, you know, you might want to watch the whole video. So, you know, because I'll show you different things you can do on each of them. All right. <clears throat> so uh, these are the problems that we're going to do, these three. <clears throat> if you want to write them down, you can. I'm going to switch over to WX Maxima. Uh, but these are the ones we're going to look at. <clears throat> All right. So the first one, we have x cubed plus x squared over x plus 1. So let's enter that in. So I've got, and we'll have to put the numerator and denominator in parentheses, and then, you know, so we can keep them together. So I've got x cubed plus x squared, and move outside the parentheses, divided by, and then parentheses, and notice how it puts the two parentheses here for you, and then I've got x plus 1, okay, and I hit enter. <coughs> Well, it doesn't do anything, does it? Okay, it just gives me the expression back. Well, to simplify it, we're going to use the command rat simp. Okay, and then parentheses. Well, <clears throat> and then what you would what you would do is you could you could type this in the parentheses, and it would simplify it. But if you already have it typed in, if you use the percent sign, what that does is it recalls the last output. Okay, so whatever this last output was before the before the percent sign, it's gonna put this in here. You won't see it, but that's what it's doing. Okay, and then we hit enter. And you can see it simplifies it to x squared. <clears throat> okay, and and that makes sense. You can see that we would factor out of x squared. We would be left with x plus one, and the x plus ones cancel, and you've got the x squared. All right, so let's look at the next one: x squared plus six x plus five over x squared minus twenty-five. Now we could just retype. We could type it in like this: hit enter, do rat simp percent okay and, and all we're doing is we are doing this command here in the simplify menu where it says simplify expression okay that's all it's doing all right <clears throat> and you know uh, let me show you see if you put that in see it just does the rat simp and it just automatically takes the previous one okay but you know it's, it's just as easy to type it in all right, so we'll do rat, simp, and then parentheses. Now, I'm going to just type the expression in here. Okay, so in the parentheses, I have to put that expression. So remember, the numerator and denominator have to be in parentheses. So basically, I have to have a parenthesis for the numerator, and we can come over here and divide it by, and then I need parentheses for the denominator. So I'm going to enter my numerator into here and my denominator into here. Okay, so I've got x squared plus 6. Now, we can't put, I'm sorry, we can't put 6x, okay, wx maxima won't accept it. You have to put 6 times x and then plus 5. And then I'll move over to the denominator, and that's x squared minus 25. <coughs> and I hit enter and you can see it simplifies it okay now and I'll just show you see if you take that off gives you an error message okay so that's that's why you you have to put the times there <clears throat> okay so the last one uh, x squared plus 13 over x squared plus 6x plus 5. Okay, and let's just 
let's do it like the first one. So I've got x squared plus 13 and move outside divided by and then x squared plus 6 times x plus 5. And I hit enter <coughs> and it just gives me back the expression. So remember how we did in the first one. I do rat cent parentheses and now I can recall this ant using the percent sign and I hit enter same thing back well this thing doesn't factor does it okay well if I wanted to I could factor the denominator and how could I do that I could factor parentheses and recall this solution here so I'll do the percent and it will recall this hit enter and you can see the numerator doesn't factor but the denominator does okay now the other thing that we could have done is we could have just combined this all into one so I could do factor parenthesis rat sim okay and then parentheses again and then in these parentheses I would need to enter in the expression so basically what I would do is I would be typing this in and what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna come up here and copy this and whoop, and insert it right there hit paste okay so you can you can do this okay and then we'll hit enter and you can see it produces this result here. Okay. All right, so that's simplifying rational expressions. Uh, I hope the video helped. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, thanks for watching.